In this video, I'll show you how to make potassium chloride the easy way. The first thing you want to start with is designing and making a cell. This is what I've done. I've got some MMO or mixed metal oxide on a, on a titanium plate here and a stainless steel for a cathode. Um, I have made two here. This one is a little bigger to go for my biggest cell and this one is for a little smaller one. Um, one thing you want to do when you're making or constructing constructing your cell is to know how many amps your supply has. This one is designed to be used on a computer power supply which delivers 20 amps. Um, why the electrode is so close to each other then on this one is so far away is because that this one is going is be used on my homemade supply which uh, is giving out a lot more current. Uh, why this why the electrodes then have to be so far apart is because if you do have it uh, closer it will generate generate more heat which then is just waste of energy. But on the other hand when you're making using your computer power supply you have to have it close enough to to make no, enough heat to be available to make potassium chloride and not uh, hypochloride. Um, uh, these two electrodes are about an inch apart and I would recommend that if you're using a computer power supply. Uh, one thing that you probably noticed is this black stuff which is a shrinking tube. Uh, why I put it there is because uh, like so much of the electrode never touches the water which means that it is it's exposed to chlorine gas which then will make a little bit of rust and you don't want to contaminate your chlorate so if you just put a little shrinking tube over it it will stop it. I put a little extra so when the water evaporates before I, I fill it up it will want erode and produce iron chloride or yeah Here's the cell and yeah it's just a sugar jar and I made this lid and put electrode in. It's a double plate so it won't go anywhere. And it just melted the electrode through and that worked pretty fine and I went whole. So what you want to do is to make a saturated solution of potassium chloride. I'm using mineral salt which contains 77% potassium chloride and the rest sodium chloride and some potassium iodide. Uh, what if you don't uh, if you don't have potassium chloride like me this is a good alternative. But if you want pure potassium or almost pure potassium chloride, you can do a quick crystallization and get almost pure potassium chloride out of this stuff. Uh, I won't bother doing that because the potassium will take the sodium place in the reaction. So you do get a lower yield because you have some sodium, but that won't bother me at all. Alrighty, now I added a saturated solution. Uh, it's just an easy part. You just uh, measure out how much water your container takes and you take about that much and then you just pour in salt and boil it and add as much salt as you can. Try to dissolve everything, and if something doesn't dissolve, it's alright. But then you take the liquid and pour it into. Uh, be careful so the glass just doesn't pop. That's important. So now it's just take it out to uh, electrolysis for some day, and I'll get back to the cell to see what we collected. Okay, so here's my setup. There's my home supply and amp meter. Here's my cell, and it's just to plug it in and let it stand for some days. And I will be watching the amps to calculate how long it should stay. Uh, I emptied the, this whole bottle of salt, which is about 500 grams. So, yeah, so just plug it on and wait some days. And be careful because when you turn on the cell, it will produce chlorine gas, but it will stop as the pH level out. And yeah and I'll get back to this cell after some days and I'll then do some calculations for how long it will take. Uh, this supply pours out around uh, 20 amps but it has uh, but after some hours the cell is 
getting like 15 amps uh, yeah at, av at average so yeah let's get back to the cell later due to lost footage I cannot show the last parts but what I will do is you will through the whole process continue adding water as the water in the cell will evaporate you will then after a week or so collect the crystals and then wash them and perhaps we crystallize and perhaps boil them in water to get more potassium chlorate. Uh, it's important, as mentioned, that to remember that chlorine is a dangerous gas, and we you should always take precaution. Um, and that's how to make potassium chlorate the easy way.